Hi, my name is Dale Turner, and I teach a variety of acoustic and electric rhythm guitar styles here at Hollywood's Musicians Institute. And uh, that passage you just heard me plucking through is a Brazilian fingerstyle jazz or bossa nova style chord pattern reminiscent of Antonio Carlos Jobim's No More Blues composition. And uh, Jobim pretty much is, uh, I wouldn't say single handedly responsible for getting the bossa nova movement happening, but his songs certainly would be the most prominent and are considered to be jazz standards uh, to this day. Songs like How Insensitive, Desafinado, uh, Meditation, No More Blues, One Note Samba. Uh, his tunes also in the hands of other uh, nylon string fingerstyle players like Luis Bonfa, João Gilberto, and uh, Charlie Bird also helped bring rise to bossa nova in general. So in a way, the lesson we're going to do today is kind of a tribute to all of them, but it was really Jobim whose tunes helped really get this whole movement going. Uh, I'd like to first start actually with some of the basic chord patterns you can get rolling with. Uh, we'll have some root position ninth chords, uh, other flavors of chords, and get the, uh, talk about what you need to do with the plucking hands to get the upper register chord stab rhythm happening as well as the root fifth bass line, which we'll talk about once we start breaking these down. First thing, though, I'd like you to uh, get going with is the fretting hand chord activity. And we'll begin with a uh, couple of different flavors of C chords. All right, so if you notice here, I have my fretting hand on a root on the fifth string, C major nine. Got the middle finger on the C here on the third fret of the A string. Index finger on the fourth fret of the uh, second string, E. Your small finger on the fourth fret of the G string, B. And your ring finger on the third fret of the B string for a D. For C major 9. The good thing about a root on the fifth string chord shape is uh, since a lot of this style, the bass notes alternate between a root and fifth, the fifth is actually the same fret but on the lower neighboring string, C, D, E, F, G, G which will allow you to be able to switch between those two bass notes without really changing your fret hand fingering. Okay, what I also want you to do with the C major 9 is take your index finger and make sure it's barred across the middle two strings at the second fret. <clears throat> so when you pick up your pinky, you end up with a C6-9 chord. C major 9, C6-9. What we're going to do with these two chords now is uh, playing with a variety of plucking hand patterns, uh, intensifying the upper register chord stabs, uh, as well as getting some more active bass lines going. But we're not going to change the two chord shapes at all yet. So uh, let's take a look at the right hand now, or the plucking hand. Okay, you're going to use your thumb to play the bass notes in figure one like this. One, and two, and. And on top of that, you're going to actually have this rhythm that's only going to be plucking with the index, middle, and ring fingers on the fourth, third, and second strings like this. One, and two, and. And if you notice, I'm making them sound a little bit short by actually touching the strings with my plucking hand to kind of dampen them instead of separating them with my fret hand. 